Are you tired of using the same old end screens that YouTube provides? It's time to up your game and make an end screen template that's customized for your video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own YouTube end screen template by customizing the YouTube outro templates provided by Canva, a free online graphics software. Instead of using this plain old template from YouTube that doesn't allow you to put text in it, you can create a customized end screen template using Canva and put your own text on it. Hi, my name is Herman Drost. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and sales on autopilot, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you're notified every time I upload new content. Go to canva.com, click create a design, click custom dimensions, enter 1920 by 1080. That will be the dimensions of your end screen template. Click create design. In the search box, type YouTube outro. Now you can see all the end screen templates provided for you by YouTube. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose this template, which is free. So click on the template. Upload the end screen dimensions template that I posted in the description below this video. After you've downloaded the template to your computer, just upload it by clicking the upload an image or video. I've already got it here. So I'm just going to click on that template. Now I'm going to expand this template so it fits the same dimensions as the one I have here. Now I've got my template uploaded with the same dimensions. As you can see, the end screen elements have to go inside this box. Anything outside it won't be seen on the end screen. Just click on Transparency. If I slide to the left, I can see my original template. So I'm going to slide the transparency up a little bit. So as I edit the template, then I can stay within the dimensions. Now I can see the box that I have to stay inside as I move the transparency up a little bit. Now I'm going to edit my end screen template so the elements remain within the box. Instead of thank you for watching, I'm going to say watch the next video. As you can see, it's slightly outside this box where the end screen elements must be, but the text can be outside, so that's fine. So I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to leave the subscribe button as it is. Now I'm going to move these two boxes down to the bottom. So I'm going to move it here and the other one over here. I want them evenly spaced, so I've got the space here, here, and here. That's kind of even and a space underneath these elements also. I'm going to remove those fresh episodes every Tuesday. And now I've got my template. Click on Transparency. And here's my template. Click Publish. Click Download. Suggests as PNG, so I'm going to use PNG. Click Download. And here's a template on my computer. Now I'm in my video editing software. So I've just got to add my template to the timeline. So I click Finder, get my template, drag it down here, and it's going to be the last 20 seconds of my video. Now I'm going to export it. So I go to File, Export. I'm going to call this NCARD8. Click Export. While it's exporting, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to upload my videos. So I just go to click Create, Upload Videos, Select Files, Select NCARD8. Click Open. Now the video is being processed. So I'm click Next. Click No, it's not made for kids. Click Next. I can add an end screen here, but the video hasn't processed yet. It's only 95% processed. So click Next. Click Save. Click Close. And here's my video that's being processed. Click Details. Click End Screen. And here's my template. It says Watch the Next Video. I'm going to choose one of these templates so I can overlay it on top of the custom end screen template I've created. This one looks a little bit similar, so I'm going to choose this one. Here's my subscribe button, so I'm going to put it over the top here. This one's a playlist, so I'm going to move it over here. And here's best for viewers, so I'm going to move this one over here. Notice I've got the grid on, so it shows where the elements must go. So if I turn that off, then I don't know where to put the elements. So I'm going to put that on, show grid. Notice that if I go over another element, then it shows the red there. So I don't want to go over the elements. That's about right. I want... Uh, equal space between the elements. I'm going to change best for viewer to another video so you can see the video on the element. So I'm going to highlight that, trash it. I'll choose a specific video. Choose one of these. And this one, I'll choose a playlist. I don't have a playlist for this channel, so I'm going to select a different element. Click delete element. I can choose playlist, video, or channel. Best for viewer here. Best for viewer won't show up until the video is live. And I can also space the elements out if I want to by moving them on the timeline. We want best for viewer to go first, then the next video a little bit later. Then the subscribe button can go 
little bit later after that. And click Save. Let's play the video, see how the end screen looks. I click my link. I'm going to go down where the end screen is. I'm going to play the video. The first one is the second one. And here's my subscribe button. So if somebody hovers over the subscribe button, they can subscribe to my channel. They can watch this video or watch this video. So one's best for viewer, any other one's a regular video, so they have a choice. Best for viewer is one that's recommended by YouTube based upon the browsing behavior of the viewer. The second one is one that I've chosen, which I highly recommend being a video in a playlist or a video similar to the one that they've just watched. Let me ask you a question. What end screen element or elements do you use the most when adding an end screen to YouTube videos? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too. Do you want to increase the audience retention on the YouTube videos so people will click on your end screen and watch the next video? If that's a yes, watch the next video and click on the subscribe button so you can receive hot tips from my channel every week.